Hey y'all, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel, Simply Carolyn. Y'all, it's been a while, and bear with me. I had to rig up my camera because my my um my car phone holder that I had that I um record with it disappeared out of my car. Now nobody's in my car but me, but somebody took it upon themselves to move that out of my car. I'm telling you y'all. And then I'm a little irritated because I'm having the new Bojangles chicken sandwich today. I got the combo. Um and it comes with a side, so I chose fries. And of course I have a drink to go along with it. Let me get myself a thumbnail. Um and I asked the young man when I pulled up to the window could I get some ketchup of course I didn't get no ketchup I asked for hot fries of course I didn't get hot fries but oh, anyway y'all I'm gonna just make the best of it so today this well starting off this morning I had to work so I did three hours from 12 midnight to 3 a.m. and then I got back up at 9 and did um, 9 to 12 to finish my six hours that we had to do today. Of course, it was mandatory, so I had to do it um, But y'all this morning when I woke up it was it was snow on the ground and now it's sunny So this is just a taste of the bipolar weather that we have here in South Carolina Near Myrtle Beach, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead um, and get on with the video here Y'all, this is a good sandwich that Bojangles make. I don't know if you have a Bojangles in your area, but it is really, really good. It's their Cajun. Oh my goodness. These young people working today. Now I asked for extra mail, but they did extra, extra mail. But anyway, I'm not going to complain, y'all. It comes with pickles and mayo. And you get a decent size um, chicken breast on there. I just asked for extra meal because I hate to have a sandwich and it's really, really dry. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to enjoy it. This is my first meal of the day. It is 2.30 here. I haven't had breakfast or anything because I really wasn't hungry, y'all. And I have to eat when I'm hungry. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and bless this and get in. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this meal I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Lord, let it be nourishment and not harm. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So what are you guys doing today? I hope you are enjoying this, this weekend. It is really, really cold outside. I'm not a fan of the cold nor the rain. But I'll take it any day over the snow that they get in other places. My goodness, y'all. I'm trying to get this situated so I don't have mayonnaise all over my hands. All right, so here we go. See what I mean? When you put too much on it, it's all over the place. Hmm? Oh well. These fries are not even warm, y'all. That's what I hate. I don't mind paying for anything I want, but I at least want it to be palatable whenever you get it, you know? Walked up and left my glasses home. I'm supposed to be driving when I 
when I'm driving, I'm supposed to have them. Oh well. It's okay. I can see, but it's just my my license have a restriction on it that I'm supposed to wear them when I drive. I hope everybody's been doing good. Yeah, my son and my husband work outside of the home. And my son got COVID. <clears throat> but thank God he's doing better. You know, he had it rough there for a minute. But, honey, when you know God and when you pray, he will answer your prayer. And that's one thing I did teach my son how to pray. He had me to um, upload a little short video with his testimony on it. So if you haven't seen that, go out and watch that one. He just wants to let everybody know how good God is and that God healed him from COVID. Because everybody can't say they've gotten COVID and made it, y'all. And I thank God for keeping the rest of us in the house safe. We all, my house is... <clears throat> it's kind of small it's small but it's not small our rooms are close together I'll just put it that way but we made the best of what we could you know it's four of us in the household we made the best of what we could um, we have one bathroom so you know we had to disinfect and make sure we wear our mask in the house but we did pretty good nobody else got sick thank God my mom lives with me and she's elderly so I thank God for that So he's um, planning on going back to work on Monday. He's been out for, I don't know, 10 days or more. Well, yeah, 10 days. 10 business days. Excuse me, y'all. You see, it has just a perfect amount of spice to it. It's not too overbearing. to run out and <clears throat> run to the store and pick up a couple of items so I said you know what I have not eaten yet so let me find something to eat I'm gonna go back home and take it easy for the rest of the day I hope you guys are staying safe. And please continue to wear your mask. Now, one thing about it, when they came out with the shots, my son did not want to take that shot, y'all. So I had to kind of pressure him. I said, well, I know you're grown, but you live in my household. I'm a diabetic. You are a diabetic. My mom is a diabetic. And from everything that's going on and what's been said people that are that have underlying health conditions need to make sure that they keep themselves you know um keep yourself well and, and make sure you get vaccinated but he did not want to take it but i tell you one thing i bet you he is glad now that he did get the vaccine he hasn't gotten his booster yet so he'll have to wait for a minute until you know before he can get his booster but I had gotten my booster about maybe a week, maybe a week, a week and a half before he contracted COVID. Um, because he thought he had, um, he has asthma and he thought he was having, you know, just some symptoms from asthma and the seasonal change. 
So I took him to urgent care because y'all, I'm telling you, because of everything that's going on at the doctor's offices are so full. I couldn't get him in with his um, primary care. So his insurance told me to, you know, make appointment with urgent care. So that's what I did. I'm glad I did. So they did treat him for the asthma symptoms. He said his chest was, you know, kind of, I guess it was kind of tight. I'm not really sure, you know, how your chest feels because I don't have asthma. But he said his chest was, either he said it was hurting him or it was tight. So they gave him an inhaler. They gave him um, a steroid. They gave him cough syrup because he did have a cough. And they also gave him another medicine. I'm not sure what that one was. But I'm so glad that when he did go there, and now this was a virtual appointment, so I guess from him telling the doctor that he was seeing virtual what his symptoms were, they said that, you know, for him to go on into the urgent care and let them give him the COVID test. And, he, and I took him up there. He got it. Sure enough, he had COVID, y'all. So, I mean, everybody's symptoms are different from what I've been hearing. You just never know. But don't take chances with your life, y'all. If you feel bad... Go get checked out. Please do. We have to be each other's keeper. And nowadays, you just never know what's going on. So, get yourself checked. And I know because I was um, exposed to it by, you know, by having him, taking him to the doctor or whatever, I started to feel... One the one day, or it might have been the next day after he found out he was positive, y'all. I was so fatigued. I got off from work. I went to the grocery store just to pick up a couple of things, and y'all, it was all I could do to walk around in that store, pick up what I needed to get, and get myself back home. I was just that tired, and I know I'm tired sometimes from diabetes, but that was just like that was fatigue. It's different. Fatigue and being tired is two different things. Now I realize that. And that day I was just like worn out. But, and I think a couple of times I may have been feverish. My th It started with my throat just being sore. And with this second strain, or this last strain that um, that is out, the symptoms are like a common cold or the flu. I know my sinuses were draining. And I figured that's why my throat was sore. I had a headache a couple of days. I felt nauseous um, one day and, you know, just tired. And like I said, I had, um, back at night, I would get feverish. So I always keep myself some Tylenol at home. So I would just take myself some Tylenol when I felt like I was getting feverish. And that, you know, it went away. And like I said, we all quarantined. So I thank God that I got my both um both of the first two COVID shots as well as my booster i'm so glad i got it y'all i mean i trust god and i know that god will take care of you but he also tell us to save ourselves so you gotta make sound decisions and nobody can make decisions about the way you feel but you so like i said if you feel bad if you have even if you think it's just sinus, go and get yourself checked. You just never know. But they did tell him he only had to quarantine for five days. But the way he was feeling, I told him no. I'm going to let you quarantine for at least 14 days. So... He started to feel better, and I thank God for that, because God is a healer, y'all. I don't care what nobody say. People believe what they want to believe. But I know what he's done for me and my family. So many times over. I am blessed, and I'm grateful. I don't take it for granted.
<clears throat> Y'all, I got to get rid of this bread. I'm not a bread eater. And I definitely don't like thick bread. Mm. This is a really good um, sandwich. If you've ever had the Cajun Filet Biscuit, the meat is something like the <clears throat> filet they have in that, but it's thicker. I'm going to insert a clip of the little bit of snow that we got today. It was just flurries, but it's just amazing how this morning it was cold. I mean, it was really, really cold this morning. It did warm up some, and now it looks like it's only about 39 degrees, but the wind is really, really cold out there. So it feels like it's colder than that. But yeah, y'all, we had blanket, <clears throat> a blanket of ice on the ground this morning and now it's bright and sunny that's amazing but anyway i'm going to insert that clip of the picture i took this morning whenever i edit this video and i'm going to go ahead and get off i'm not going to make this video too long i thank you guys for tuning in thank you to all of my new subscribers welcome i really do appreciate all of you new and old if you're not already subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? You know I will be glad to have you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap the bell and hit all so you're aware each time I upload a new video. I love you guys with the love of Jesus. Y'all stay safe, stay blessed. Y'all please, 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 please wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Anytime you're out and you're in a crowd or you know sometimes you can't help it when you're out people will come around you so please just wear your mask y'all be safe even though you're vaccinated you still need to wear your mask and i really do appreciate y'all and do me a favor if you have not already hit that like button go ahead and hit it leave me a comment if you feel compelled to do so i love you guys with the love of jesus y'all stay safe and stay blessed i love each and every one of you goodbye